sort of. Shit, this is bad. We're straddling the Q dimension in our timeline. <laughs> this isn't stable. But we're halfway back. Yes, we're in Rome in the year 897. The perfect place to show you how unjust justice can be. That man is the organizer, prosecutor, and judge of a charade of a trial, Pope Stephen VI. Ah, Pope Steve. The defendant was a previous pope, Pope Formosus. I thought new popes were only announced when the old one died. That's right. Pope Formosus had been dead for seven months. What, what the fuck? fuck? Bring in the defendant. <laughs> It's my nightmare. This trial, the Cadaver Synod, marked the beginning of one of the most corrupt eras in the history of the papacy, known as, no joke, the pornocracy. I may just be a simple country pope, but where I come from, people clean up before coming to court. Formosus' corpse was accused of perjury, holding two bishoprics against canon law, and rising to the papacy illegally. Well, answer me this, Formosus, if that is your real name. How is it that you became pope if Pope John VIII excommunicated you in 878? Huh? Mm I don't think he's going to answer. No, that's why Pope Stephen had a young deacon crouch behind the corpse and answer for it. A part of the flies. Um, I don't know. Oh, how convenient. The clergy watched as Pope Stephen insulted and screamed at the corpse, only occasionally letting the intimidated deacon speak. Unsurprisingly, Formosus was found guilty. He was Stripped of his vessels. Uh, Had three fingers of his right hand cut off. You won't be blessing anything anymore. Uh, and was buried in the graveyard for outsiders and foreigners. And all your actions as Pope shall be declared null and void. Wasn't one of those actions making you a bishop? Okay, okay, okay. That part is still valid, but all the other parts are just... <sighs> Everyone shut up, okay? So say it's the Pope. <sighs> Why even bother? The dude was dead. Most people think it was political theater. Pope Stephen and Pope Formosus were in different political factions. This could have been a way for Stephen to delight his allies and terrify his enemies. <sighs> On second thought, throw him in the Tiber River instead. <laughs> oh, come on. I just reburied him. John, he's fucking poser. Just throw him. But he could have just been insane. Either way, people don't fuck with that brand of crazy. <laughs> yeah. oh. Actually, people loved Formosus and thought this was all weird as shit. It wasn't long before a mob dragged Pope Stephen into prison. What? What is this? No, 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 no. Oh, someone do something. Months later, he was strangled to death in his cell. Subsequent popes annulled the trial, had Formosus's body pulled from the river and restored to St. Peter's Cathedral. So everything worked out? Sure, until the early 900s, when Pope Sergius had Pope Formosus posthumously excommunicated. Ah. Uh... God damn. Move the Pope here. Move the Pope there. Then it was a sham of a trial whose outcome depended entirely on who was in charge at the time. That's right. If you like that episode of What the Fuck 101, I have good news. There's way more of it over on Dropout. Dropout is the new premium, ad-free, and uncensored comedy platform from College Humor. Go to dropout.tv and start your free trial to... Oh, shit. Yeah.